People in Rocky Mount woke up to a pretty interesting sight this morning. A plane crashed right in a neighborhood street there. and It happened just before midnight on West Raleigh Boulevard. Nick Perlin is there in the WRL breaking news tracker this morning. And authorities say, Nick, that pilot was able to climb out of that plane and walk away. Jeff, it's pretty miraculous that nobody was hurt, especially once we did learn that when that plane was crashing, it actually clipped a bus stop nearby. I mean, just an incredible scene behind me. You can see that plane, a lot of damage here as it crashed into that neighborhood right by North Raleigh Boulevard. I do want to get behind the camera and give you a better look at what this plane looks like. I'm going to zoom in real quick on the damage here. Uh, bear with me as I focus up the camera. Now you can see one of the wings there, it appears part of that wing fell off when the plane was crashing to the ground. The other wing that's intact there, you can see it, it's crunched up. There's a lot of damage to that in particular. I'm gonna tilt the camera over a little bit and show you that bus stop right there. That is where a, um, law enforcement tell me when that plane was crashing, it clipped that bus stop. So uh, that's what we're hearing right now. I'm gonna zoom out just a little bit just to give you a better look at the entire scene that we're seeing here right now. We know law enforcement have this area of North Raleigh Boulevard blocked off all the way from Edward Street down to Nashville Road. And when I got here at around two this morning, there were several people who were outside and they were stunned to see what you're seeing on your screen right now. Take a listen to what one woman told me early this morning. We was driving home and seeing that the road was blocked off. And look at there. There's a daggone plane done crash in the middle of the street. It's incredible. I never seen anything like it before in my life. Well, we hear FAA should be on scene in the next hour or so to investigate more about what led to this crash late Sunday night. Once we have more information, we'll be sure to update you. Live in Rocky Mount, Nick Perlin, WRL News.